This is the gas station that you're about to see in security footage. What's stunning this morning is that an altercation here could turn into an international incident. As you can see, there are security cameras surrounding this gas station. There was never any chance that what really happened would not come out. Overnight, a broker deal with Brazil. Jimmy Feagan's attorney saying the swimmer has agreed to donate nearly $11,000 to a Brazilian charity to resolve the case. Anything you'd like to say to your supporters? To Hours earlier, have you talked to at all? Gunnar Bentz and Jack Conger allowed to leave Brazil. They're going to say at least goodbye to Brazil. After giving statements to police, their Brazilian lawyer taking an apparent shot at Ryan Lochte, telling reporters they didn't speak with any journalists or lie to any journalists. They were just quiet and didn't know what was happening. The USOC now confirming the police version of events. Investigators saying the gold medalists were never robbed. The evidence, investigators say, security video from early Sunday. At 5.47 a.m., swimmers Ryan Lochte and Jimmy Feagan are seen leaving a party with Bents and Conger. They took a taxi back toward the Olympic Village, but stopped at a gas station. At 6.07 a.m., you can see one of them head toward the back of the gas station near the bathrooms. A minute later, the four emerge, followed by a gas station employee. Concerned, police say, because the swimmers had vandalized the bathroom. That's one of the security cameras that filmed the footage. The swimmers walk through here. And further down, as you can see, an advertisement appears to have been pulled from the wall. And at the back are the restrooms that reports say were badly damaged. But we can see no sign of that now. The swimmers return to their cab. At 6.09, their driver gets in and a security guard approaches, reaching out. It's unclear if he has something in his hand. At 6.12, after a discussion, the swimmers exit the taxi. At 6.14, we see a different angle. In the upper left, you can see the swimmers put their hands up and sit down. A guard approaches them with his hand on his hip. One of the guards told investigators he did draw his weapon to get control of the confrontation with the four large athletes, one of whom was getting aggressive. Police say the guards let them go after they handed over $50 to pay for the bathroom damage. This is a very different story from the one Lochte first told today's Billy Bush. He cocked it, put it to my forehead. In the days since that interview, Lochte changed some details, but sticking to his story that they were robbed. The American embarrassment forcing the USOC to apologize to the people of Brazil. The behavior of these athletes is not acceptable, nor does it represent the values of Team USA or the conduct of the vast majority of its members. Now, perhaps the confusion really occurs not here at the gas station, but beside it at the car wash. This is where you can see in that security footage the swimmers sitting at the curbside. They are having a conversation with gas station officials. Now, what the swimmers say is that there was no one there who spoke English. Brazilian officials say there was a translator. The swimmers, perhaps, didn't understand why they were being asked for money. The Brazilians say they were making it perfectly clear. Perhaps all of this was lost in translation. Guys? Uh, Kier, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We can confirm now that Gunnar Bentz and Jack Conger have landed back in the United States. Mm -hmm. They arrived there just before we went on the air this morning. Also, we have spoken to Jimmy Feagan this morning. He confirmed that he has revised the statement he originally gave to the right. police. He's agreed to pay that about $11,000 in restitution. That will apparently get him his passport back. He's not in possession of his passport right now. He hopes to get it soon and then leave Brazil tonight. And no word from Ryan Lochte yet. Not yep. yet.